And now we are moving to the next presenter to see what's uh, happening in uh, uh, Istanbul. I, I, I witnessed, uh, uh, I, I visited Istanbul twice uh, and I was severely impressed. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much for the correction. Istanbul has a population of 15 million officially. I don't know, you know, officially is about 20 million, so it's difficult to have a smart city uh, with uh, 20 million population. Is that one? Yeah, correct. Uh, I'm working for ISPAC. ISPAC is a municipal company. Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality has 28 different companies. Uh, one is responsible for metros, while another one is responsible for environment. Etc. And ISPAC is responsible for uh, smart city solutions, technology solutions for its Istanbul metropolitan municipality. So if you visit Istanbul, is it positive or negative? But you see, as a technology part, uh, we are responsible in Istanbul. Um, we started a smart city consultancy project for Istanbul metropolitan municipality. So we started with the definition of smart city. I'm not agree with another panelist that. There isn't any uh, dumb city or stupid city, but between smart city, high-level smart city and uh, stupid city, there are so many cities, they would like to have a better cities, better life for their citizens. So, uh, therefore, definition is important, but you should be uh, aware that smart city is not, that there is no zero and one. There's a maybe fuzzy logic there, between zero and one, there are several cities, uh, according to their um, maturity level, we have so many different cities around the world. If we talk about big data, governance, open data, innovation, etc., okay, we have only some uh, smart cities that are in mature level, but from the history, we have several cities. The cities are for politics, for a historical view, for culture uh, or architecture. With the economy, we had smart cities in, in the past also. We have been uh, lived in smart cities, we, are li we live in smart cities, and we will live in smarter cities maybe in the future. Uh, with communication and mobility infrastructure, we get uh, better cities, but now, because of the definition of some technology, technology companies, we define smart city mostly. Uh, regarding big data, governance, open data, etc. But smart city not, is not only technology, but also have other uh, issues uh, touching the people in your cities. Uh, if you see from technology side, we need to have smart building. This is the definition from, uh, from a professor from California Tech. Uh, smart building, you need to have smart campus and then you will have smart uh, city and smart uh, grid or networks. Uh, according to our definition, to, uh, to make easier to define and to make easier to have a project, we uh, de decided to have eight domains, eight enablers uh, in smart cities, smart mobility, environment, economy, people, security, governance, living and energy. According to ISO, uh, there's, a, there's a six uh, domains, we have eight because we divided uh, environment and energy and we add security that you need to be a secure city and that you will be a smart city according to our, uh, our definition to smart city. Uh, the main objective is improve quality of life. How? With technology or without technology, with infrastructure or the main objective is uh, we need to have improved quality of life, not only in big cities, but also in small cities. If you improve the quality of life in small cities, maybe the big cities will also will be, uh, have uh, more relaxed because of the uh, distribution of population in small, small cities and big cities. Therefore, improving quality of life is very important. How to be rich? This is our methodology. We started with change in organization structure. We established a smart city department in municipality. They are responsible for uh, for approval of the project. And in this part, we had created a new department, smart city department. And this department is responsible uh, development of uh, smart city project and also making R&D and other things about smart city. 
and then uh, we have the, we need the definition, the, the smart city, and then what other cities are doing now, and what is the current state situation in Istanbul, and where we want to reach, and how should be our I, IT or smart city ar infrastructure and architecture. These, we need to answer this question to be a smart city. Uh, we had an ecosystem, we worked with Frost and Salomon, Ericsson, EY and Cisco from international side and we work with NGOs, governments, universities, local, local municipalities, uh, metropolitan municipality departments and affiliate companies and universities also and local companies and startups. We, if we have projects, we work with them also uh, to create projects. Uh, with best practices, we compare Istanbul with nine uh, well-developed cities like London, uh, Paris, Berlin, Seoul, uh, New York, Barcelona, etc. And we compare with Istanbul what's the situation in Istanbul with smart city indexes. From this comparison, we also could get uh, some information that the lack of uh, lack of uh, information or what we need to have, which projects we need to develop. These comparison uh, can also get very good information to your cities. And then we had, as I said, Istanbul is 15 million, uh, so it was very difficult to have a current state assessment. And maybe most of developed cities don't need to have a current state assessment, but we uh, need to have. Therefore, uh, it was also difficult. We have uh, more than 100 departments in Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality. We have 39 uh, municipal districts, they, they have their own mayor, and their own strategies, their own projects. In Istanbul, we have 28 uh, municipal companies, ministries and departments in Istanbul, so you need to talk with them what the current state situation in Istanbul is, which projects they have, which ideas they have for Istanbul, um, and also uh, what they would like to have in their strategic plan. You need to compare these strategic plans and need, need to uh, collaborate with them to have a common vision and common uh, strategy for Istanbul. It was very difficult and our international consultancy companies also underestimate the situation, uh, the, uh, the challenge to having a current state assessment for Istanbul in a 15 million population. Uh, we also talk with the same partners, with the same stakeholders, we create our vision and mission, we create uh, the strategies of Istanbul uh, and projects that we will establish in short term and long term uh, for Istanbul. And one of the important things is architecture, uh, defining the data, defining the uh, communication of data from which center to uh, which center send the data, in which protocol, in which standard should be sent the data. These should be defined uh, in our cities. So this was also a very important part of our project. Now we defined our architecture and we will put our technical specs in future tenders uh, that the people uh, would like to uh, use these standard documents that Istanbul has these data standards and these data protocols for communication to have an interoperable uh, city. This is an uh, example of the results of the smart city architecture and this is our uh, 24 strategic goals, 50 initiatives or programs and 101 projects that we will have in near future and uh, in, the, uh, in five years after the election, in four months we have election, after the elections we will start directly for our projects. Some of these projects we already started. Uh, another I think yes, this is Turkish, uh, it's difficult to translate maybe English, but we will try. It's our manifesto of Istanbul, what we think, as, what is our mis mission, what is our vision, and what will we do for Istanbul from history. It's a 5,000 year city, from history to the future, what can we do, what should we do, we define in our Istanbul manifest. Uh, just an example of our projects, maybe expert Mr. Yilmaz Çakır will uh, explain you details about uh, living labs of Istanbul. It said new living lab of Istanbul uh, is uh, translated as Grand Istanbul, Zemin Istanbul. Uh, officially, is not 
open, maybe in one month we are waiting the calendar of Minister of Technology, uh, in one month we are waiting for opening, but it's already started, the children coming there, uh, startups coming there and working there, incubation center, experience center, education activity center, and also for children uh, from two to seven years old children, we have an animation studio in the center, and they started working uh, for increasing the creativity uh, and education and for technology education in Istanbul. That is just one project. Uh, we have other projects that I would like to only put this for in 10 minutes on this project. And I hope after the elections, the 101 projects will, will be uh, a better live in Istanbul in the future that you will see if you visit a better Istanbul in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, indeed, uh, I saw some efforts how the whole city becomes a kind of living lab. Uh, that's uh, the way it works.